Hey guys, I made it to the flat side. Sorry I didn't uh, get to check in yesterday. Um, my surgery ended up being eight hours long. Um, I think I was in surgery from like 11 till 8 p.m. And then I was in recovery until about midnight. So my husband didn't get to come and get me until about midnight last night. So it was a really long day, but obviously I slept through all of it. Um, they said everything went really, really well, that I look really good. You can't obviously tell anything yet, um, because I haven't seen myself. All I can see is here a little bit, and I can feel the implant. Um, night one was fine. Um, definitely been keeping up on my pain management, and that's been helpful. My husband has been such a good caregiver, thank God for him. Guys, the hospital bed rental was such a good idea. I'm so glad that I have that. So I slept in my hospital bed last night. My husband slept on the couch beside me just for the first night. Um, so he could help me up and down to the bathroom. But I will say that I've already gotten really great at getting myself in and out of bed with my walker. Um, I just recently took myself to the washroom. He's still monitoring me, but um, I'm managing really, really well. The nurses and the doctors and everyone at Dr. Kara's office were absolutely fantastic. They were amazing. So I went in yesterday for 9.30. Um, I met with the nurse, went over paperwork, confirmed everything one more time. And then Dr. Kara came in with his marker and uh, marked me all up. You can still see some of my markings. And uh, I could just picture like the lines and what he was probably thinking when he was marking me up, envisioning his plan of attack. Um, and he was amazing. Um, they took me pee and then I went right into the operating room um, the anesthesiologist put uh, IV. I have a bit of a bruise on my hand from the IV. That was probably the most painful part that I felt was when they put that in. And then they gave me what they said was oxygen, but it wasn't oxygen. It was whatever made me fall asleep. So I breathed that in and they, as I was falling asleep, asked me again, what am I here for? I had to repeat everything I was getting done. I thanked them all before I fell asleep and honestly just vaguely remember Dr. Kara and the anesthesiologist checking on me before I guess they went home for the day. My eyes weren't open so I didn't see them but I could hear them. Um, I remember hearing the nurse call my husband and my mom and I remember talking to them on the phone just saying hi to them. Um, but once again I was out of it. I was sleeping during that time. And then eventually I started um, in the fourth hour of recovery, like waking up a lot more and the post recovery nurse was amazing. 